This diagram indicates the two paths stars can go upon in their life cycle. Uh, you'll notice all stars kind of start as this nebula, this cloud of gas uh, that kind of aggregates due to gravity. Uh, when it starts kind of collecting, it then becomes what is known as a protostar. Uh, this is before nuclear fusion begins. It's not uh, dense enough. It doesn't have a, enough gravity, enough temperature to start fusing the atoms. Uh, but when that does start, then you get what is known as a main sequence star. Our sun is currently in its main sequence. So that is the stage where uh, they're sitting there happily fusing hydrogen into helium and emitting energy. Um, this is when you get to a crossroads. Basically, it's going to depend solely upon the mass of the star. Stars the size of our sun that aren't really, really massive will go along this path. And so uh, they will begin, you know, after all the hydrogen fuel is gone, at first the star will start to kind of collapse upon itself because it won't be hot enough to fuse helium. But at some point, um, as it's contracting upon itself, uh, the temperature will rise sufficiently as the atoms get closer and closer together and they will be able to start fusing the helium. Uh, the helium will fuse into carbon and you get what's known as a red giant. Our sun will expand at that point. Um, eventually what's going to happen after that red giant consumes all of its fuel, like our sun won't be large enough to diffuse the, the carbon atoms, so it's going to become basically what's known as a white dwarf. Um, it will shrink back down in size. It will still radiate energy, but it's not going to be uh, radiating light from new fusion reactions that are occurring. Uh, you know, I liken it to taking a, a, a pot of water and sitting it on the stove and boiling it. After you shut the fuel off to the stove or, or turn the power off, the water will still radiate heat for a long time after, and so the white dwarf will continue to radiate some of its energy, some of it in the visible spectrum, um, and then eventually, when it cools off, it becomes a black dwarf. Stars that are more massive than our sun will uh, follow this other pathway, and so instead of becoming just a red giant, it becomes a red supergiant, and it will fuse heavier elements than just carbon, so it'll go from uh, hydrogen to helium to fusing uh, carbon and oxygen, silicon and so forth, until it gets to iron. Iron is the last element that stars are able to fuse. It takes more energy to fuse the iron than it gives off. So at that point, um, what happens is as soon as iron starts to form, the core of the star will collapse upon itself and then it will eject all the matter out of the out of the star and form a supernova and that's this phase um, basically the remnants of the supernova then once again it kind of really depends upon its mass you know if, if the remaining material uh, collapses upon itself uh, the electrons, when they get really packed in there together, they don't like being that close to one another, and so what will happen is that they will uh, convert all those into neutrons, and that becomes what is known as a neutron star. Or if the, uh, the, the gravity wins out and just crushes all that matter down into a point of infinite smallness and infinite density, uh, you could form what is known as a black hole. The main factor that determines the star's life cycle, once again, it's sheerly the mass of the star, the amount of material present. New elements are generated in, in stars by the fusion of smaller nuclei into larger nuclei. Nuclear fission is the splitting of a large, unstable nuclei into two smaller, more stable nuclei. Uh, an example of a nuclear fission reaction would be like the reaction inside a nuclear power plant, where they use some fuel, like uranium-235. As those uranium atoms split, uh, they give off two smaller nuclei, and it releases a small amount of heat. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, 
is the combination of two smaller nuclei into a larger nucleus. Um, an example of this is like on our sun, uh, the fusion of, of hydrogen atoms into helium nuclei.